Glenn Beck is going to give us his thoughts on how the rest of Obama's term will go, and it's L-O-L funny. Let's watch. My feeling is, is that the president is um, uh, disconnected from the American people entirely. You saw that there was no humility in his press conference today. Um, and, and he is also disconnected from the um, Democrats. Hillary Clinton has already separated herself, so, so she's now going to play the moderate. He announced yesterday, I mean, when the election was still going on, that's usually when the president is quiet. He came out yesterday and said that by Christmas he will have his... Um, uh, executive order on illegal immigration. I think this president, and I hope this is not true, but I think this president is going to go more radical. He doesn't have anything to lose. He is going to super his legacy the to uber lose. left. Yeah. Did you catch that at the end? He's going to, quote, super serve the uber left. What uber left? There's no uber left in America. By uber left, do you mean the only sane people in America, like Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren and Alan Grayson? And do you really know that little about politics to say that you think Obama is going to start acting like Alan Grayson, Elizabeth Warren, or Bernie Sanders? He's going to super serve the uber left. Really? So the uber left in America, which is, again, an international moderate, these guys are very moderate, very, you know, smart people, uh, what, what's he going to do? What are, what are you saying he's going to do, Glenn? Is he, he's going to do, uh, Medicare for all. <laughs> he's going to do universal education. He's going to do universal daycare. He's going to expand pre-K. He's going to, uh, secure social security. Uh, what, what's he going to do? Raise the minimum wage. Oh, radical Uber left things we're talking about here. End endless war. Oh, so radical. Number one, I would love it if he did those things. Number two, he's not going to do those things. He's not going to do those things. If we're lucky, the best thing we'll get is he may actually follow through on the idea of shutting down Guantanamo because that's something that he wants for his legacy. He knows it's politically unpopular right now for the, uh, in terms of the polls, but look, it's one of those things that it is against the law, it is against the Constitution, you can't hold people extra judicially, and he wants to be known as the guy who shuts that down. Maybe he'll do that, but that's it. That's the only thing that you could consider uber left, and that's not uber left. That's just believing in the Constitution. Uh, you know, I'm stunned day after day as to how little the right-wing commentators really know about politics. O'Reilly's a slightly different story. I think he knows more than the other people. Uh, he's still a rabid right-winger, but uh, I think he's more intelligent than the other ones. But when we're talking about Sean Hannity and Glenn Beck and Rush Limbaugh, no, these guys are really fucking dense. Really dense. And then uh, when Obama's out of office and all the stuff that they predicted doesn't happen, are they going to come out and say, you know, my bad, I apologize. I look really stupid now. They'll never do that. How do I know that? Because we already have a clear situation where they made fools of themselves and none of them had to own up to it at all. And they don't lose their followers either because their followers don't give a shit about facts. So what am I talking about? The 2012 election. Rush Limbaugh, Glenn Beck, uh, Larry Kudlow, George Will, these are all guys, conservative commentators, they all said not only is Romney going to win, he's going to win by a fucking landslide. They said that. They said that. Understand, that was based on nothing. That was based on absolutely nothing. Just pulling it out of their ass. I swear to God. Because of how many polling companies are there? 27, 29. Out of all the polling companies, uh, Obama was ahead in... Uh, about 95% of them. There was just a handful, maybe one or two, that uh, said Romney may win by a little bit. It'll be a squeaker if Romney wins. So none of the polling data said Romney was going to win by a landslide. But these idiots were like, I don't believe in facts, so I'll make the prediction Romney's going to win by a landslide. So they buy into their own bullshit. They drink their own Kool-Aid. And then when they were wrong, again, it, look, if I made a prediction that was so fucking wrong that it was 100% incorrect, I would come out here and go, whoops, let me explain to you guys why I said that, let me tell you what it was based on, and now let me tell you the reality, I was wrong, and now I'm giving you the accurate information because that's what a responsible person does. And when somebody's wrong, you own up to it like a man. What do they do? Nope, 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 none of that whatsoever. They didn't say, I'm really bad at fucking figuring out this politics thing. They were just... They just continued going and acted like nothing happened. And you see the same kind of predictions here. Obama's going to super serve the uber left uh, 
I don't even... Meanwhile, there is no Uber left in America, and I'm not even defining what he's going to do. Oh, oh, immigration reform? The immigration reform that the Democrats proposed uh, before was had nothing but right-wing provisions. It was nothing but a giant compromise to the right. And the Republicans still said no. So how is that radical? How is it radical? I'll tell you again th the exact provisions uh, of, of the reform, if I could frickin' find it. Really? I can't find it? Oh, okay. Uh, cut the deficit. This is what the immigration reform bill did. Cut the deficit, increased border security, included a 12-year waiting period for immigrants, made immigrants pay a fine and pay back taxes. Uh, upon becoming a citizen, you still don't receive all the rights of a citizen when you're considered a citizen. And it put drones on the border in Texas. Yeah, so Obama doing immigration. Oh, so radical, uber leftist. Except the only direction that bill is radical in is to the right. But again, these are facts, and Glenn Beck doesn't care about those.